Welcome, I'm Hong Kui Deng. We are introducing you one important and fascinating story that we have recently published in Cell, which is entitled Derivation of Prepotent Stem Cells with In Vivo Embryonic and Extra Embryonic Potency. In stem cell research, a long major goal is to capture the founder cells responsible for organism development. One milestone work towards this goal is the discovery of embryonic stem cells, which are regarded as pluripotent because they can generate all cell types of an adult organism. However, pluripotent stem cells are limited in generating extra embryonic lineages, which support embryo development. This is distinct from totipotent cells, such as zygotes which are capable of producing all embryonic as well as extra embryonic lineages. This study, through chemical screening, we identified a chemical condition which permits the derivation and maintenance of stem cell lines with totipotent-like functional features. We term these cells as extended pluripotent stem cells, which can be abbreviated to EPS cells. EPS cells can be derived in both mice and humans from different origins. Amazingly, the injection of only one single mouse EPS cell into the pre-implantation mouse embryo resulted in the contribution of both embryonic and extra-embryonic tissues in vivo. Another exciting data is that we can obtain wild mice that are completely derived from only one single mouse EPS cell through a technique called tetraploid complementation. Besides mouse EPS cells, human EPS cells also show similar functional features. In mouse blastocyst, single human EPS derived cells can contribute to both embryonic and extra embryonic lineages. Furthermore, the contribution of human EBS derived cells could be detected in mouse embryo, placenta, and yolk sac that are from the middle gestation stage. In contrast, it is difficult to generate interspecies blastocyst chimeras using conventional human pluripotent cells. The interspecies chimeric competency of human EBS cells holds great promise for generating human tissues and organs through interspecies chimerian in the future. In summary, our findings demonstrate for the first time that it is feasible to derive and maintain stable stem cells with both embryonic and extra embryonic developmental potentials. The broad developmental potential of these cells makes them useful for disease modeling, drug discovery, and regenerating medicine.